Hey guys, we're in the Mount Wellington National Park today, heading on a multi-waterfall walk uh, through the park. Amelia's come up with a few trails that'll lead into some cool spots. So the first one on the list that we've found is Hobart's Secret Falls, the not so well kept secret. The Secret Falls have no official track and visitors should be mindful of the native vegetation while making their way in. Only a short walk upstream from Secret Falls is the first official waterfall on today's circuit, Myrtle Gully Falls. Today's planned walk will cover a total of 14 and a half kilometers and take us up to a maximum altitude of 670 meters. The Myrtle Valley track follows a rocky creek bed with sections of the creek bed spanned by these beautiful timber arch bridges. Before long, the track rises out of the wet valley and up into this dry eucalypt forest and then merges with the old farm fire trail. I love Wellington Park. With Claire now sound asleep, we'd arrived at our third falls for the day, Newtown Falls, and it was difficult to decide which one of the tiers we could photograph best. It seemed no matter how high or low you went, these cascading falls seemed to go on forever. Daniel is a silly bum bum and left his GoPro lying around and I had to go back for it. Thank you for getting my GoPro. So we're moving on from Newtown Falls. The next falls are... O'Grady's. O'Grady's Falls. On our way out, we located an access trail to the lower part of Newtown Falls but with no great photo opportunities, we continued on our way. The North South Trail made the best option for making our way back to the junction to head up to the springs. With the trail so fire damaged from previous year's fire, it gave us an interesting insight into how the bush recovers. The junction hut stands alone in the bush at a point where a multitude of trails join each other at Mount Wellington. It's an excellent spot to pull up for lunch, have a rest and just recoup before we get back on the road. The upper section of the Lena Valley track was an excellent option for making our way up to the springs. It also passed Sphinx Rock, which was an amazing lookout we'd been looking forward to getting to. From fern-filled valleys to rocky outcrops and amazing scenic views over Hobart, Mount Wellington has some terrific scenery no matter which way you decide to go.
With this scenic lookout ticked off of our bucket list, we were on our way to the springs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means we're nearly at the coffee shop. Is that exciting? Nanny bread! Nanny bread! Yum! <laughs> snow! There's a snow! I love snow! A quick visit to Rocky Whelan's cave on the way down to O'Grady's Falls showed the cool rock formation that's hidden in behind the trees off this little track. The muddy, rocky, evil slopes littered with mountain lions. Another short detour took us down to O'Grady's Falls the next one on Amelia's list of terrific falls this mountain had to offer. We were now on our way to Strickland Falls, the last on our list to complete today's circuit. Have fun at the falls. So we're just waiting for mummy to come back. Yeah. What are you doing, Claire? Yeah? yeah? You waving? Hi everybody! With Amelia back from taking some more fabulous photographs, we were on our way back to the car. This was all via downhill fire trail and made for easy walking to finish the day's hike. With Little Miss growing tired of being strapped into the backpack, we decided to give her a walk for the last kilometre on the way back to the car park. The next 20 seconds of footage are dedicated to letting you know how our lenses on the GoPro are getting as damaged as they are. I think Claire has decided she's an amateur photographer. So that was Amelia's Wellington Park waterfall circuit. Some great falls there. We've had an awesome time. If you like the video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more of our content, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and we're going to get up to more fun next week. Anyone looking to see more of Amelia's amazing photography can find the link to her Instagram on our channel page. And anyone interested in the music that we play as a background can find my brother's channel linked at the end of this video.